Yo, what is up everybody? This is Cushion Tech here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about wh why I always use bracket notation instead of functions or dot notation when accessing elements. Like see, I usually use, let's see, see, I usually use like, like the square bracket notations when like accessing elements like for example like you do like array name like let's see data structure into square brackets at index zero or like or like at let's see whatever depending on the programming languages and they can s simply like quickly access things and all and all that and because of that like let's see like and because of that like let's see i prefer doing i got more used to like bracket notation over dot notation or functions like when when at accessing elements when writing code and, and all that and because of that i i i highly recommend doing like bracket notation over dot notation and all that let's see like uh, let's see another the reason why i use bracket notation over the other two, like functions or like dot notation is because it writes shorter code and all that and like let's see like the re and like the re one reason why like let's see like you should write write let's see like use br brackets because it writes less code and shorter code than dot than functions or dot notations because like you dot like function name and you include the per in the parameters and all that or like let's see or like let's see like you do dot update and you do like let's see dot like update and like let's see it writes things whereas if you use like bracket notation and all that like you just like do like in bracket like where what index you do rather than like using functions let's see have longer like words and characters than brackets and all that and because of that like i prefer to use like like for example in the java pro and, and like let's see the c plus plus programming languages let's see vectors you can either access as using the dot at function which takes in a parameter and all that which takes long work or like you just do brackets and the brackets just less work and less code means like less memory it takes Let's see, like, the reason why I use bracket notation over dot notation or functions is because it helps me code quicker and all that. Because, like, it uses less code and all that, and, like, it uses less characters and all that, and, and it requires less typing and all that. Because, like, when you, like, click the click the bracket on the keyboard, like, one of the brackets on the keyboards, like, whether it's the left-facing bracket or the right-facing bracket, it generates the other, op the other thing thing on the side and all that that like for example like if you click on the left bracket it also generates the right bracket if you click on the right bracket it also clicks generates the left bracket before it and because of that that it helps me code quickly whereas in a function like i have to type everything and all that and because let's see as a function and it types everything and all that and all that like because of that like i'll have let's see is, is let's see because if pounds everything and all because it does that and all that let's see if you coat let's see like if you use bracket notation it's less prone to throwing any errors and all that for example like in the c plus plus language when you use bracket notation to access an element and all an element for a vector and all that that and if like if you like get an out of range index and all that and all that it doesn't throw any error and all that it just does nothing whereas if you use the dot at function it throws an error and all that and like let's see like and because let's see it throws like an error like error and all, all that like if you use the dot at function it's let's see like higher chances it'll lead to like huge software failures and error, all that whereas bracket notations does not let's see another reason why you, i use bracket notation over functions or dot notation because like 
there's less likely of errors occurring like there's less likely syntax errors occurs due to like the function notation if just in case if i misspell a word the function wrong and all that less likely errors collected and like just there's also a less likely chance that like another function that i write like like a helper function that i write on my own there will less likely errors occur in that one and, and that one and all that and there's also less likely likely errors occur in like the other like like programming language you know, and all that and like there yeah and like there's less likely of syntax logic errors occurring because like some functions have require some form of logic and all that and because that they can cause mis mis mismatch in functions there's less likely of mismatch happening in function and all that and there's also less likely of errors occurring and all that let's see like there like if you use let's see like bracket notation when accessing elements like bracket note it's more flexible with keys and all that bracket notation allows for the use of variable keys for variable keys like keys that are stored in in variables and dynamically generic generated and all that and and because of that like let's see for example you don't have to let's see like manually like type like see the name like like key equals name equals that whereas for functions like it's strict on like what types what parameters to use to, for like the language and all that like c plus plus and java strict on the different types and all that whereas bracket for, whereas for bracket notations and all that like key like you can like put like you can store the name in a variable and like do that that way it would be a lot easier for you and it can help you code quicker and all that and like and, and like for example let's say you do key equals name and you do value equals my dick into brackets key and which wouldn't be possible with the dot notation and all that let's see using bra bracket notation over dot notation and functions is more consistent with indexing and all that because bracket notation is used for both dictionaries and lists providing a consistent way to access elements the uniformity can make it easier to to read for the code to read and maintain and all that and it's and it maintains consistent indexing indexing and all and all that and like because it maintains like let's see consistent ind indexing and indexing and all that and because of that like let's see like it can you can like it maintains like a huge consistencies of indexing and all that and like you'll be more consistent with your indexings you'll be more consistent with how you index and access elements when you write code and all that and the more consistent you are the less errors are there are and the and the better the errors there are and like the less and the less error and the better to good code and all that let's see another reason why let's see like i prefer to you do bracket notation over dot notation is because it handles invalid keys with dictionaries dictionaries bracket notation notations will raise a key error error if the key does not exist in like and like let's see which can be caught and handled appropriately this can be advanced have like a huge advantage for debugging and ensuring the integrity of data access whereas let's see like handle whereas let's see like for dictionaries it does not whereas let's see for dictionaries it does not let's see d for it does not accept let's see dot notation or and all the and all that because of that Let's see, another reason why, let's see, I do bracket notation over dot notation is because it avoids at attribute conflicts. Dot notations can sometimes conflict with built-in attributes or methods of an object. For instance, if a dictionary has a key that matches a method name like update, it uses using dot notation would cause a conflict, whereas bracket notation does not, does not, let's see, like cause any like, conflict and all that like for example yeah and because of that like let's say there's lower chances the software would fail and all that and there's lower chances there would be conflicts conflicts within the within the software and all that
let's see, let's see, like, let's see, let's see, bracket notation is more compatible with JSON and all that. When working with JSON data, keys are not often valid with Python identifiers. Let's see, they may not contain spaces or special characters. Bracket notation can handle these cases seemingly, like, like, for example, bracket notations can, like, can, let's see, like, is more compatible with JSON than, than like, let's say dot notation and all that, because if you try to access a, an element in JSON with dot notation and all that, like the compiler won't be able to read it and, and may give out a syntax error because of it. Let's see, like it's easier to access, let's see elements and in non-Python -pro programming languages. Like many other programming languages such as JavaScript uses bracket notation for accessing elements and objects in arrays. Using bracket notation in Python can make it easier to transition between languages or write code that is more universally understood. Well, and understood and all that. And because of that, like, let's see, like bracket notation is commonly used in like, is easier to use in like both can can help you like easily transition from from like programming languages and all that if you have to switch from one programming language or another you bracket notation is probably good and all that